It's an amazing opportunity in our 30th anniversary year to be partnering with the Rugby League World Cup 2013. To be the official charity partner is a dream come true for us, raising lots of money uh, so that more and more children can benefit from wooden spoons activities. With something like this, a World Cup, you know, these things don't happen very often and you can see the excitement that's going on here today. We commit to about 60 capital projects every year around the British Isles. Total spend about one and a half million pounds. And we do playgrounds, we do sensory rooms, sensory gardens to improve the lives of disabled children. Well, the money from Wooden Spoon has allowed us to create state-of-the-art light and dark room. They offer a means where we can develop communication skills. Without Wooden Spoon, those rooms would not have been possible. And the Wooden Spoon does so many great things. And you can see from here today, you can see the, 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 the great work it does. This charity was synonymous with rugby, whether that be league or union. This is the first time I've actually ever had the opportunity to come and see you know, where all the charity stuff and where it's actually gone. So it's been a humbling experience today. You just see the smiles on the kids' faces. And the, you can see the teachers are doing an amazing job. The people that work with disabled children are just amazing folk. Our friends that the RFL and the Rugby League World Cup have been uh, a supporter and a patron for Wooden Spoon for many years. The most exciting thing from the partnership from our point of view is demonstrating that we can actually put something back into the Rugby League game. This is an opportunity for everyone to have fun, put Wooden Spoon on the map, into the, uh, the Rugby League um, regions and, and make sure that there's a legacy that comes out of it. This is just the latest manifestation of our long-term partnership and we look forward to working with the Rugby League community for many, many years to come.